I'm Steve for This Hook With Cars and today I have another new product. I really like how battery technology is really progressing and it seems like every day a great new product comes out. This one here is from a company called Adore Trip and what this is, this is a fully self-contained battery powered air compressor and jump starter. This is my old one right here. This just weighs a ton. It doesn't have a whole lot of battery power. It does have a built-in air compressor. This one uses a normal UPS style AGM battery. It doesn't last a, a whole lot of time. If you are pumping up tires, it's probably not going to jumpstart a car afterwards. This new one right here also has an air compressor, but the size difference is pretty incredible. In fact, when I saw this on Amazon, I figured that it was going to be bigger than this. So it's pretty neat that it is this small, easy to pack away in the bag. Then it has this set of jumper cables that you connect up to it and you can use it as a jump pack. On the bottom, there's also an LED that displays how much charge you have in the battery, as well as a USB port. And on this side, it has a set of work lights that you can turn on. So if you're broken down on the side of the road, you can turn on the work lights and see what you're doing. Another great feature that this one has over the old one is you can set it to a certain pressure and it will automatically turn off when the tire is pumped up to the pressure that you have specified. So you can hook it up to your tire, walk away, come back later, and it will be held at the pressure that you indicated. So my plan is to find a car in here that needs a jump start. I'm going to make sure that all the tires are inflated properly. And after we're done using this as an air compressor, we'll see if it has enough juice to then still jump start the car. Let's try it out. I think I'll give this box a pretty good challenge. These Hoosier race tires seem to go flat pretty quickly. So I'm gonna pump up all the tires on this race car, and then we'll see if we can still jump start another car. We'll also see uh, how much power it takes. Right now it is charged to 100%. I'll show you the percentage after we pump up this tire and then after we have done all four of them and then see if we can start a car with it. This tire is at zero PSI. I'm going to set it to 32. I'm set to 32. Let's let it run. The pressure on the display was increasing as the pressure went up. It stopped at 32.5 and it looks like we're still at 100% battery power. So let's move on to the next tire. This hose is uh, very hot. So this motor oh, sounds like there's some parts rolling around in there now. Second tire's done. We're at 75% now. This hose is very, very hot now. On this tire, we're starting at 16.5 PSI. Still saying 75%. This is almost so hot now that you can't even touch it. Our last one is another one that's completely flat. Now we're down to 50%. It's stopping at 32.5 PSI every time. Ouch, that is really hot now. I have not driven the Innocenti Spider yet this year. We do have some battery power a fuel pump. The starter motor is turning but hardly. So let's see if we still have enough juice to start this car. So here's our unit. It does say 75% now. It said 50 earlier. It's only been a few minutes but it now is saying 75%. 
Underneath this flap right here is where we plug in our jumper cables. Let's connect it up, see if it'll do it. I guess we're ready to go. I don't think there's anything to do other than connect it up. So my final thoughts on this, this is small enough that you can pretty much find a cubby somewhere in any car to pack this thing. I don't think that this is high enough quality to use every single day. This is more of put it in your emergency kit sort of thing. If you have a roadside emergency, there's a lot of features built into this that could be really handy. To make this into a device where I think I could use it every day, I think it needs to be built a little more rugged. I think that the jump leads need to be a little bit longer, as does the hose on the back. This is going to go into my roadside kit, and if you want to get yourself one of these, I have a link in the description below, and I'll see you next time.